All right, you guys, we're going to move on. We have an article to cover as well, so I'm going to stop the music, and we're going to move right along. What is this article? Let me change the scene. I actually don't think I have a scene for this, but whatever. All right, we're going we're gonna to cover an article. So give me one second. Let me adjust the scene just a little bit so it makes sense. There we go. All right, I will pull this up. Okay, there we go. All right. So we are going to cover an article very briefly, you guys. It's an article from Chess24, and here we go. Gary Vedit question World Chess V-Day Grand Prix sponsorship demands. Fide Grand Prix organizer World Chess is asking the players to get in touch for a quote-unquote package if they want their personal sponsor logos to be shown during the events. The demand has provoked reactions from top players Anish Giri and Vidit Gujarati. But World Chess CEO Ilya Marinzen denies they are actually asking for a cut. Okay. So here we go. All right. Picture of Anish, obviously, and the article keeps going. All right. The FIDE Grand Prix, a series of three tournaments in Berlin and Belgrade starting February 3rd, is the final chance for players to secure the two remaining spots in the 2022 Candidates Tournament, the qualifier for the 2023 World Championship match. The series will feature 24 players, with each player competing in two of the events. The events are organized by World Chess, formerly known as Aegon. The company that organized our organized the World Championship matches from 2014 to 2018 and lost several lawsuits against chess servers over the rights to broadcast the moves live. All right, that's a little bit of a, a little bit of an unnecessary jab. I will say that. That's that's a little bit unnecessary. Um that, that that's 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 a little bit unnecessary. But let's keep going. All right. So okay. Okay. In, in the email to the players, World the Chess writes, we have been made aware subscribe. that some players are negotiating 2022 contracts with new and existing sponsors, and we are happy to offer a position to your sponsors inside the events. The package will include a right to display the logo on player's jacket and digital presence. If you would like your sponsors being advertised during the Grand Prix series, please let me know, and I will connect you to a partnership specialist. All right. So this is, this is all fairly standard. I even said this on the stream last night. This is not exactly rocket science. The following paragraph is included in the current regulations and was also present during the 2019 FIDE Grand Prix. Players shall not wear, use, or display any apparel, footwear, accessory, or other items bearing an identification of or advertising or otherwise promoting the player's sponsors without prior written permission by FIDE or FIDE's commercial agency. While the above clause in the regulation is not new, FIDE have previously allowed personal sponsors to be displayed, provided they are not in conflict with FIDE and IOC's values and policies. During the candidates, player, during the candidates players were granted permission to wear logos in exchange for giving a few hours of their time, but it was not strictly enforced. FIDE also stresses that they have never actually asked for a cut from the players' personal sponsors. All right, so all of this... Um, all of this so far is is pretty standard. I just want to be very very clear on this. Uh, there is a, there is a difference between FIDE and World Chess. Now nobody really knows what the whole arrangement or agreement was in, in terms of World Chess and the rights that they got. I mean, to me, it seems very strange that FIDE has not been able to basically just kick feed kick uh, not kick FIDE. Sorry, the FIDE has been unable to kick uh, World Chess Aegon out. Somehow Aegon still has this part of the cycle, which to me makes no sense. And I don't. I don't understand it at all. It just it's illogical. And as far as this part about wearing um, wearing sponsors is 100% accurate. Basically, if let's just say Emil Satovsky or um, or anyone at FIDE says you know we're fine with player sponsors being featured, then World Chess can do nothing about that. Um, so it's it's kind of it's kind of a little bit weird that they sent out this whole email. But let's keep going with the with the article. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Um, and Paul's also, by the way, FIDE also stresses that they have never actually asked for a cut from players' personal sponsors. Once again, FIDE is separate from World Chess in a sense. So that's the, that's the reason that when this is said, this is actually accurate. Okay. The requirement comes at a time of increasing demand from organizers to get their share of player sponsorship money. One example is Magnus Carlsen, who went through negotiations with FIDE regarding a sponsor, Unibet, a betting company. The details of the negotiation are not known, but Carlsen did display his sponsor in Dubai. Okay, so there's a picture of Magnus. What a picture. I mean, what can, <laughs> that's such a great picture to show. Um, so let's, let's, let's keep scrolling. Um, okay. World number seven, Anish Giri, who is sponsored by technology-based trading firm 
Optiver is among the players who are critical of the demand for what appears to be a cut of sponsorship money. On Twitter, he supported his friend and former second Vita and said players should be allowed to wear logos during the events. Chess organizers, World Chess in this case, discovering new revenue streams is great, but trying to fish for a cut from players' own sponsors is not helping. It is challenging enough for a player to find a sponsor. Let the player wear the logo at the uh, to find a sponsor. Let the players wear the logo at the event they compete in. Obviously, I completely support Anish, 100%, um, and very, very well, very well put. And then we keep going. We, we have another tweet. We have a tweet from Vedit that says, um, let me scroll down, that says, is it fair to ask player sponsors to pay the organizers as well in order for the player to support their logo? Again, very, very, very logical points. Chess24 reached out to Geary, who declined to comment on the matter further. Popular chess streamer Levy Rosman did offer a support to Geary, tweeting to his 172,000 followers. Apparently, the organizers of the upcoming Grand Prix are asking companies who sponsor participants for a cut to show their logos. No wonder top OTB chess will not experience the effect of the chess boom. It is a bubble filled with this something, and no respect to the players. All right. Um. So, so most of this, most of this, uh, I, I tend tend to agree with. Um, they always plug in Levy. This is Chess Twenty Four, so not not actually so accurate. But anyway. Um, the point is pretty true that World Chess definitely the way the email was was uh, was worded. It's very clear they want to cut out of out of players' um, sponsorship. Now, I will say this because this is not included in the article whatsoever. I actually uh, sent an email this morning, a strongly worded email to World Chess, uh, and I cc'd quite a few people on Anish, Anish and um, Anish and Vedit amongst them, basically supporting supporting their standpoint and the fact that it's very hard for players to get sponsors and there are two problems with the situation aside from the fact that fide most likely i think will correctly allow players to wear their sponsorship logo sponsor logos um think about it from the perspective of chess players it's very hard to get personal sponsors there are only a handful of chess players who have personal sponsors um i think almost all of them are roughly in the top 10 to 20 players in the world so it's very hard to get a sponsor so what happens let's just use vita as the, as the obvious example um Say, say Vedit, for example, is in a situation where he gets a sponsor. Let's just say it's, I know if it's a milk or meditation or one of these sponsors. And he's like, well, he has to go to them and talk to them. And they're like, well, wait, what, what, what's going on? Because if we just, if we, if we have you, if you, we have you showcase our logo at all the tournaments, that's the whole point. So if you're coming to us asking about why, like you can't show up for this one tournament, then that company is going to become very skittish. And they're going to wonder, well, wait, what's going on? Like in any, any normal sport, players are allowed to wear, wear the, wear the logos um, of whoever their sponsors are. Very specifically, I'll use like Formula One um, to as a simple example. And so what that happens is then you have sponsors getting jaded. The players potentially are struggling to get sponsors, and it's a big issue. Um, so it, it is quite a quite a serious uh, situation. So let's keep going with the article. All right. Um, so whoops, I didn't mean to go there. Let's let's go back. Okay. So that, then then we keep going with the article. So Singaporean grandmaster Kevin. Kevin Goway Ming also supported his colleagues. As if seeking sponsorships in chess isn't hard enough, we have prats like World Chess asking for ridiculous cuts in farming athletes like they own them. Something needs to be done to protect athletes. Okay. So that's a reply to Anish. Um, the one the one thing that I think I will say, and this, this is on FIDE especially, is that I don't know how FIDE can do this, but they, FIDE needs to make it very clear that there is a separation between World Chess and FIDE itself. And what exactly is going on with this contract in terms of why FIDE does not have the rights uh, to the to the to what's called the quote-unquote FIDE Grand Prix? Because I think it's a little bit insane that, that Aegon World Chess still has these rights and it's not simply FIDE running the events. So th there should be something said on that. Um, all right, so let's keep going. Here, here we go. We have this. FIDE General Director Emil Satovsky distanced himself from the new demand and pointed out that the FIDE Grand Prix events are organized by World Chess and not FIDE. FIDE is not World Chess. World Chess is not FIDE. Kindly stop blaming FIDE for the policy employed by World Chess. FIDE never asked players for a cut of their private sponsorship money. All right. Uh, so as much as you guys know that I'm not a fan of Emil, he is actually right with what he's saying. World Chess has commercial and broadcasting rights for the FIDE GP provided by previous FIDE administration. They also have the rights for the World Championship candidates that we reclaimed in 2019. We will try to help help resolving issues, but we can't legally impose a decision. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, I don't know why FIDE can't reveal exactly what the situation is, because it seems very weird to me that they're unable to get the rights back for the uh, 
for the Grand Prix specifically. Because that's the one thing that they don't have the rights to. And it just makes no sense at all. I mean, did like the previous administration sign some like 20 year contract or what exactly happened? Because it just does not make, um, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, all right, so let's keep going. All right, um, here we are. Responding to Satovsky on Twitter, World Chess CEO Ilya Marinson disputed that they're actually asking players for a cut. Marinson also responded to Gary once again denying that they're asking for a cut, saying they simply want players to make a deal with the organizers. Um, yeah, I'm going to... One second. I'm going to go right back to my phone. I'm going to find that email, and this is where I'm going to read that read that paragraph once again. I, th I think it's in here. I think I think parts of it are in here, but the whole thing's not in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read this once again, and you guys tell me if you if you agree with that or you don't agree with that. Um, so so uh, we're, we're I'm gonna I'm gonna read on my folks. Obviously, you can't you can't read emails. Um, okay, as it says, we have been made aware that some players are negotiation negotiating 2022 contracts with new and existing sponsors, and we are happy to offer a position to your sponsors inside the events. The package will include a right to display the logo on the player's jacket and digital presence. If you would like your sponsor being advertised during the Grand Prix series, please let me know. Or maybe actually they did They did put all of it. I didn't think they put all of it, but apparently they did. But it says, if, if you would like your sponsor being advertised during the Grand Prix series, please let me know and I will connect you to a partnership specialist. In what way? I actually thought they cut off part of it, but they actually put the whole thing in the article. So, um, so I actually didn't need to read it. Um, I thought there was like one line or two lines that were missing, but I, I, I'm mistaken. At any rate... What part of that does it not sound like they're literally asking for a cut? I mean, they're clearly asking for a cut. It's not, it's not a, and also Christian how does Rocky make a deal mean anything other than, than asking for money? Um, bank. it's like make a deal. I mean, FIDE, for example, has been much more, I think like lenient. They've been, uh, they, they like, there are other things like maybe they want you to promote like something regarding women's chess because this is the year of the women's chess, women's chess or things of that nature. But like when world chess and Aegon, which has nothing except the FIDE Grand Prix cycle is trying to make a deal. There's nothing there except asking basically for a cut. Um, so yeah, it's it's just it's just it's just insane. I'm, I I hope that Fide is going to put their foot down. I really do hope that Fide puts their foot down. So okay, all right. So um, so there's the Anish tweet. Everything's here. Oh, and then we have we have this reply from Marinson, which says, Anish, you've been a part of cycle events since I can remember. Rules have been the same. No private sponsors at FIDE events, same for the GPCT and match. Of course, World Chess is not asking for a cut of sponsorship dollars. If they want to be at the event, they should make a deal with the organizers. Um, I'm just gonna say that as I as I as I said earlier, um as I said earlier, and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna read a part of my email that I that, that I actually replied with now. Um so give me one second. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reiterate re reiterate one part that that um that that I sent, which is um one, one second. Okay, well, let me let me read this. Okay, one one second. Let, let me pull up one one little part. Um, one second. Let me let me scroll through. Just one second. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, pause, champ, exactly. Just give me one second. I want to try to scroll to the relevant part. Um, yeah. Okay, so just one, one, little, one little paragraph of what I wrote. It, said, it says, as you can see, the regulations simply, the regulations simply request that the players get approval. As you can also see, the approval can be from FIDE or FIDE's commercial agency. I assume a letter from Dvorkovich or Satovsky would suffice. So as, as part of that email that I sent this morning, um, basically FIDE just has to put their foot down. And hopefully FIDE will. I, think, I, think, I mean, FIDE, for all the things that I'm not a fan of, uh, I think they do understand the climate and what's what's going on. So I do expect basically Satovsky or Dvorka to be like, you know, we're 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 gonna we're gonna approve Anish Vita, Hikaru, everybody else who uh, who wants who wants our sponsors. So that's a little bit that I would say. All right, so let's keep going. In a statement uh, to Chess24, Marinson says they are simply following the rules and regulations since 2014 that players must receive prior written author authorization or display sponsor logos. Now I'm going to tell you right off. That I do not believe I ever got written uh, written authorization when I had Red Bull cans uh, at the chessboard, so um, so I'm I, I think Marinson is kind of hedging it a little bit with what he's saying because I, I I know for a fact I had Red Bull cans 
And based on this, he's saying that everybody was having to write to Fide or to Aegon to um, to get uh, to, to get approval, and I definitely didn't have to. So I, I think that's this is very questionable. Um, so it says, okay, the reasons for this provision, in my view, is that the event's principal source of financing is sponsorship, and sponsors demand predictability, including the number of sponsors and assurances of no conflict. How would it look, for example, if, for example, MasterCard sponsored the event, and the player who ends up winning the event was sponsored by Visa, with the Visa logo clearly displayed on the player's jacket during the awards ceremony? It would not only be a huge commercial scandal, but a gross violation of sponsorship ethics and best practices. Um... Great example um, by Marinson. The only problem is I've yet to see any FIDE Grand Prix event be sponsored uh, by any major commercial company. Uh, I think really? when, when I look back, there were things like there was one of the Grand Prix that was that was uh, had Renova Group as a sponsor in the past. Um, but I can't think of a, of like a major Fortune 500 company uh, being a being being a title sponsor on any chess event. Uh, in the last like 20 years world world the world championship has had some big sponsors but like if you look at the grand prix they they haven't had those sponsors so once marinson gets those sponsors then maybe this is something a valid point but at 100 is not a valid point at the moment okay anyway marinson adds there are ways to group the organizers world chess in this in this case case by case specifically in exchange for services to the audience audience such as master classes or other arrangements also, in some cases, player sponsors can be offered additional sponsorship packages by the event organizer in case they want bigger exposure, and that would include the right to display the logo during the event. All arrangements should be formal and confirmed by both parties, and top players should be infor- will be informed of such arrangements beforehand. Um, this is just insane. I mean, this is insane because, as I said before, if you as ev- now I think most of the players are aware of the contract because whether I've said it, the email I sent or this article, uh, FIDE just has to approve it. World Chess can't do anything about it as long as FIDE says it's fine. So, so okay. Um, in, in a comment to Chess24, FIDE Chief Marketing Communications Officer David Yada said, this debate is healthy. It only shows there are more commercial interests about chess, and the interest in the game is growing. Other sports have experienced the same frictions in the past, like Formula One, snooker, and football. Both sides, players, and tournament, tournament or, organizers will need to meet halfway in most cases. Um, one problem that I would say with this bit that David Yada adds here is when you look at Formula One, snooker, and football, there's a slight difference. All of these sports are multi-billion dollar industries. Chess is not a multi-billion dollar industry. The FIDE budget, which I think was just approved, is $13 million for all of 2022. So when you think about this is just FIDE using FIDE because they are the governing body. They have a budget of $13 million. World Chess, who knows what their budget is, but they're, but the sponsor that World Chess gets for these events is not major. It's it's not um it's not in the million dollars. Uh, it's not in the millions of dollars. Maybe Snooker is not billions of dollars, but but Snooker for sure. The top prizes are pretty hefty, aren't they? They're pretty hefty. Um, at any rate, compared to Chess. So uh, yeah, Snooker is not multi billion. Uh, that that is true, but um. But at any rate, when FIDE, which is governing body, for the entire world, they have a budget, I believe, $13 million. Now, I could be wrong on that. Um, to have this sort of debate, it's not right. When we're talking about billions, we're talking about hundreds of millions or billions of dollars, then maybe it's a discussion that can be, he- can be held or, or people can have that. But right now, that's not where chess is. And, um, and so it's just very, very silly to me to try to compare, compare something like Formula One or football specifically. Whether you mean American football, European European football, whatever whatever it is, like they're not comparable. They're not comparable. Chess just is not like that. Um, and I would say in terms of chess, the, the closest comparison is something like poker. And when I think about poker, all players, not all players, but a lot of players have many different sponsors and they will gladly display them on their shirt or whatever whatever it is even though espn i think technically has the rights to to the to to air the event so again once chess gets to the point where it's a much bigger prize pool and there's much more interest in the game sure then we can these conversations but right now it's just uh it's real it's really silly especially because mostly sponsors like let's just say vita on each or even myself we're not talking about sponsorships into the millions of dollars like say a lewis hamilton um or serena williams sharapova what, whatever it might be it's just not comparable so um yeah it's just i i, I think that fide will hopefully just put their uh put their foot down they'll say yeah players can 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 uh, can show whatever sponsors they want, and that that's that. So again, I think the the ball is kind of in Fide's court, but I do think Fide also needs to. I mean, I guess Emil is trying to make it very clear that World Chess is not a part of it. But I would hope that if they can, they can release some part of this contract 
that they're locked into with World Chess Aegon because it doesn't it really doesn't make sense how it is that that there's still this outside group that already tried to do stuff with chess and failed miserably um, over the last like I mean last ten years probably uh, is being involved. So that's just a little bit that I will say. Obviously there'll probably be there, there'll probably be some updates to the story um, and we'll go from there. But it's what it is. So that's how it goes.